What's up freaks? This is just me and today we're taking a look at the best calves in the front poses. We're gonna be using the front double biceps pose and the front lat spread and some other front poses like the front relax or most musculus too. The calves is the only feature we're gonna be considering in this video. The poses aren't that important. We're gonna do the list in increasing order with the best ever at the calf department being at the end of this bit. Just for the record though, bodybuilding is on the whole mostly subjective, so the order of my list here is arbitrary as well. But now let's get into it and we start off with the first guy, Tom Plass, the Golden Eagle, a 70s and 80s icon. Now you might be thinking this placing is way too low. Tom Platz has one of the best set of calves ever. And I agree, but that's mainly from the back. Here's the proof, right on the screen. From the front, it doesn't look nearly as amazing. That's why he lands so low. But anyway, you slice it. This is not an insult. He still cracks the list. Next in line is Mustafa Mohammed from the 2000s. His calves from the front, despite being pretty huge and kind of reminiscent of someone like Branch Warren, get outsized quite a bit by his humongous quads. Therefore, he doesn't land any higher on the list. But respectable development for Mustafa. Here we got Sean Ray, who for certain doesn't have the largest calves, nor the most genetically gifted, but they flow well with his physique. And look pretty aesthetic so that's why he squeaked on the list next is brutal Burtle fox mainly from the 80s showing us some pretty good development in the calf region he's got a nice shape and also some pretty good insertions now sergio oliva the myth three-time mr olympia competing in the 60s and 70s for the time definitely awesome calves I'm here to tell you, they go very well in poses such as his trademark victory pose, which he was able to hit supremely, partly thanks to his calves too, don't discount them, they look good here. Alright, next is 7 time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath, dominating the 2010 era. You can note Phil's calves are pretty highly inserted and have a very odd shape to them. It's certainly not aesthetic, but that's partly the way he's showing the calves off, taking a wider stance. However, they're well developed, that's no question, so they belong on this list. His biggest rival, the Predator Kai Green. Definitely higher insertions, but his calves seem to be very well developed. And he's consistent, I was able to find many good photos of Kai with his calves looking Pretty outstanding in the front shots, so I have it on here. Moving on, we have four time Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler, of course, the, a 2000s era guy. Now, Jay's calves seem to be pretty well developed and also have decent insertions, so he makes it on my list too. It's not a standout feature in his front poses, but it's a well rounded overall set. Here's Vince Taylor from the 90s era. As you can see, he's got some pretty pleasing look in his calves. Some favorable insertions too. And they balance with the rest of his body very well. Here we have Richie Kaspari from the 80s. Good shape and flow with his physique. I don't know about you, but I appreciate this kind of pleasing look and more than decent muscle development too. Casey Vader next, from the 70s primary, showing us also some very impressive calves, very balanced and aesthetic, I wager to say. I find them very nice looking. Now we got a competitor from the 2010s, Luke Sandu, who has some high calves, but they are well built and eye-catching for sure that's why i'm including luke on this list 
now the current bodybuilder we have William Bonac who doesn't have the desirable lowest insertions either but his calves are pretty large and well developed and they look nice too now we have Mike Francois a mass monster from the 90s with some very nice low insertions so kind of a more pleasing shape than someone like William Bonac for instance he definitely deserves to be mentioned here on my list, Mike Francois. Here, from the 90s and 2000s, is the blonde myth Lee Priest, who had a very decent set of calf muscles. I had some trouble finding good picks, so that's why we got these. But still, you can see he's got a good, good proportions uh, between the calves and his body. So Lee Priest has some solid calves and very low insertions as well, which is favorable. So he needs to be mentioned. Next is Sonny Schmidt, another bodybuilder coming from the 90s. The pictures aren't the best, but you can see anyway that he's got some good calf development. Not the best shape, I suppose, but they're catching my eye on the other hand. So Sonny needs to be mentioned in my opinion too. The current guy, Steve Kuklo, who doesn't have the best lower insertions, but has a very well developed set of calves, and they look big and impressive in his front poses. And we move to the 90s for Aaron Baker, who I have to put kind of an asterisk on, because look at the calves in the picture on the, on the left. That, that looks very weird, not not like suspect necessarily, but really, really odd. But in the middle picture, they look very impressive. And you can notice how low they are too. So I need to mention him too. Now another 19th competitor, Paul DeMeo, nicknamed Quadzilla, but has some pretty impressive calves, even next to his free kick watts which is commendable, and I want to include him, Paul DeMeo, some, some good looking low calf. Next we have a 90s mass monster, Paul Delette, whose insertions are also low, and he has a nice shape, plus pretty big calves. I think the freaking Stein's calves look very impressive. Next we have Branch Warren, who comes from the 2000s and 2010s, with some very thick and developed calves not the most pleasing shape but they stand out and he deserves a spot because of the good development we have matt mendenhall all the way from the 80s good shape and they really stand out in a, a lot of his from poses so we can't miss him we got a 90s mass monster, another one, a natural somebody. You can see his calves are well developed. They look fantastic despite not having the best insertions ever. Now here's Jeff Long, who competed in the 2010s and has some very good insertions and also great development. These calves look pretty huge compared to the rest of Jeff's physique. It's awesome. Now another 90s mass monster, six time Mr. Olympia Dory Nate, who had some awesome calves. We we all know that. Good insertions and good development. Belongs on this list, definitely, because it looks amazing. But here's nineteen eighty two Olympia champion Chris Dickerson, who has supreme shape to his calves and also good development. He really surprised me because I didn't expect his calves to look this good from the front. Now we have a guy from the 2010s, 7 time to 12 Mr. Olympia champs, Flex Lewis. He takes 5th place on my list overall, so we're only gonna have 4 more guys here. Anyway, Flex has one of the best sets of calves ever. Not the largest, but very, very lowly inserted and huge in proportion with its body. These are some great calves, almost cows, and we should all appreciate this amazing development, I think. 
in fourth place, we have the late Dallas McCarver, also coming from the 2010 era. These are some very beefy calves, I'm here to tell you. And he has one of the lowest sets ever, too. It's really a standout muscle group, even next to his shoulders and arms, for example. As I see it, Dallas is one of the best calves ever and definitely needs to be on this list. And we got another extremely low set of calves in third place on Eric the House Fanghauser from the 2000s, whose calves were really gigantic in these photos. In width, they rival his quads, if you can believe that. They're so low and so big, I, I just can't rate him any lower, although his calves might not be the prettiest. I don't know. I, I like them, but they are overdeveloped for sure. And they might even take away from his physique, not not help him, so he doesn't outright win my list. In run up, we have a 90s bodybuilder Mike Matarazzo, whose calves are considered one of the awesomest in bodybuilding history. They're high compared to Dallas and Eric, for example, but look at the crazy development. It draws your eye for sure. These are also very commendable calves and almost uh, almost managing to top my list. Close, but I'm giving the number one spot to someone else. Who, who do you think it is? You can try to guess it if you want. Oh, yes, it's, it's Ben Pakulski, the Pac-Man, with one of the best calves ever too. He competed in the 2010s and had some incredible calves. I chose him over someone with lower calves like Eric and also over someone like Mike Matarazzo with probably larger and better development because he has it all. Ben, in my opinion, has the perfect balance of all factors in his calves. These are probably the most prominent calves in the front poses I've ever seen. Look how they kind of dominate his front lat spread. That probably shouldn't be happening. I like his calves overall the best and I'm giving him the first place spot for that. But it's of course not set in stone and your opinion could be different than mine. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with my list or do you think differently? And did I forget about anyone? Tell me down in the comment section below anything that's on your mind. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch some best gaps videos and also like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day.